Armenian style. <laughs> okay, so yo, we are with Annie. Hi, Annie. Hello. How how was this place for you, Amsterdam? It was amazing, actually. It's my first time in Amsterdam, so um, it was very very beautiful. I've never been here. And we're coming from Venice, so another <laughs> place with canals all around, so it's, it's really brilliant. V Venice was also a holiday, yeah? Venice was a holiday, yes. We yeah. were invited to a wedding and then we came here for a tournament, which is also very relaxed and with friends, so it was amazing. And how did you find Amsterdam? I love it. We went to Rembrandt Museum first day and we have been to some beautiful beautiful places like Dam Square and other streets just walking around and seeing these beautiful lights everywhere and the cozy restaurants and it's, it's such a romantic place to be because all these bridges they remind of some movies and also of course we have been uh, riding a boat every almost every day so it has been a big pleasure to be here and I have many many reasons to come back to Amsterdam yeah. for now and and when you were uh, going to these places were you going alone or were you going with no, Levon? of course with Levon <laughs> it wow. wouldn't be really romantic to go alone so, <laughs> so Levon is romantic that's what you're saying Levon is very romantic of course <laughs> yes. wow yeah and that we have seen in his chest as well it's really really romantic his, his creativity is just amazing yeah uh, so, so it's actually amazing that he did find during a tournament uh, you know I think how, how is this tournament for you because you have seen many tournaments yes. but this one is a little special so can yes, you tell a little a bit little more bit about different. it so uh, from the starting from the first day I was really excited because the opening ceremony was happening in a very historical and beautiful old-fashioned building and everything artsy is for me <laughs> so uh, it was a big pleasure to be there also we had a beautiful classical concert <laughs> what did you have? <laughs> you had a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had a beautiful. We had a very beautiful uh, classical concert there. Amazing musicians playing, and um, yes, it was a very non-standard opening ceremony because. Uh, usually you don't sit and listen to classical music on the first day and it was uh, very very pleasant for me because I'm a musician so I felt like uh, it's the tournament to be <laughs> Wow yeah. yeah and when you say you're a musician can you can you tell us a little bit more about your music well I am a jazz singer it's my first profession and uh, many chess players know about it but they are constantly asking me to organize some concert <laughs> and to invite them. But I was very busy with Isabel because she's uh, very... <laughs> yeah, how, how old is she now? She's 11 months. Yeah. Soon, on October 20, she will turn one year. Yes. And how, how is life changed after Isabel was born? Oh, it, it has been changed completely, like 180 degrees and upside down. So now we have a little a <laughs> little one just running around, just messing around. I don't know, it just, it's impossible to have a very clean and beautiful house as we used to. <laughs> it's always spoiled by Isabel. And it's very adventurous. So you mean Levon and you were orga more organized we with were, the organ Yes, we yeah. were organized. Because I thought chess players many times, uh, they're very messy and you know. <laughs> well, uh, not not us because Levon loves like everything. For instance, he collects uh, many books in, in his library. So we have this oh. corners for him. We have a corner musical corner for me. So it's uh, usually organized, of course. Thanks to also my mother who sometimes does that for us. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but with Isabel, uh, it's uh, impossible, almost impossible. Now she's with my mother and with my father while we are here. It's actually first tournament that I'm coming oh. with Lemon. So uh, during the baby, 
Do, do so. you miss her? <laughs> I miss her a lot, but I also miss the you guys. <laughs> I miss the seeing my friends from Chess World and uh, I miss spending some time alone with Levon as well because with Zabel we don't manage to yes. do anything. So everything is for her. Yeah, this is like a perfect trip and that to the places like Venice yeah, and Amsterdam. We, we, you are we and were talking with Levon yesterday and we said this feels like our honeymoon actually. <laughs> wow. And yeah. uh, but we are very excited to meet her because every day we're yeah. just watching in the end of the day just her uh, videos yeah. and pictures. Yeah. And now how many days it has been uh, since you've seen her? Well, it was like for Levon, it's a long time. He hasn't seen Isabel for one month and I haven't seen her for 15 days, 10 days. Already do you do you have any plans as such that you, you want to teach her chess or you would love if she picks up yes, chess um, and music in that uh, way or how I is mean, it? We have no uh, expectations for her to become a chess player or a musician because we want her to be happy and to do what she wants to do, just what to listen to your heart that's mm -hmm. the most important to feel happy but of course we in the early ages uh, they cannot really choose by themselves so we would like to try many things to just discover what she's good with and what she likes so what she's passionate about i i definitely know even if she doesn't back, become a musician or a chess player both are really very important to know in life mm -hmm. because well, music is something that we go with even when we are not professional and uh, how we, I don't know, overcome many difficulties and how we spend our happy moments and chess is a very, very good brain exercise. Mm -hmm. So in my family, even us, we have been told to play chess all the time. So Wow. And you, do, have you heard this quote uh, that chess, like love, like music, has the power to make man happy? Chess? <laughs> Chess, like love, like music, has the power to make man happy. I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah, but that's one of the fam uh, most famous quotes by Tarash. And oh. maybe, what you can, like, when Levon is practicing and you're playing music, <laughs> that would be a nice uh, video there yes. <laughs> with, this, with this quote because you guys are also in love with each other. Yes. So, yeah, but by the way, can you tell us why her name is Zabel? Any story behind okay, it? Yes, uh, so Isabel was an Armenian queen and uh, she was the daughter of King Levon. <laughs> so I guess you guess guys yes. whose idea is this. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, but also there is an Armenian musician, her name was Isabel Yesayan wow. and she was the student of Komitas, which is a legendary composer and uh, He's very, very famous. Uh, I don't know, we're so proud. Armenians are always so proud of Komitas. And uh, it had like this artistic roots, also the historical roots. And Queen Isabel did a lot for Armenia, so yeah. Wow. We thought it's a very beautiful and yeah, ni movie. very nice blend of uh, both the things. Yes. Amazing. And uh, finally, uh, can you tell us a little more about you know in what way normally in the serious tournaments how 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 do you support Levon or you know what is the role of the partner there? You know, mm. I I have I think you support in any possible way starting from like the minimum and the small things, basic usual things uh, in life, let's say um, preparing what he wears and to just start from here, from basics to psychological support which doesn't really require to do something by yourself but to be always there and to when he wants you to be there and when he is emotional and wants to talk to someone I'm happy, I hope Levon feels very comfortable after some games to share with me even though that I don't have this deep understanding in chess but I still understand what's going on on the desk so uh, I'm really happy I have the chance to be his partner in life and a best friend at the same time uh, I think it's all about it, like uh, as you would be with your best friend in something really important that he's doing or she's doing. 
just to be there to listen to them and to emotionally always be ready to support in happy times as well and uh, more importantly when they are sad that's that's very amazing to know uh, how you do it and finally what's the next tournament uh, for you guys yeah we're going to the american cup we missed to st louis a lot and uh, we are really excited to like start our life there with Isabel as well because uh, she has been very small when she was there and and yeah i'm now trying to keep positive even though we are uh, having a hard time in my country and going through many difficulties i i think nowadays everywhere in the world it's hard there are wars happening unfortunately until today and yeah we're going to try with our american armenians to somehow help our people to that's the thing you know even in these cases sometimes people don't need you from you financial ha- help but they need again someone to just mm-hmm. listen to them i'm getting a lot of messages a lot of people approach me about something and we try to help with what we can but unfortunately nowadays uh, it's not like that that intellectual people can change the world nowadays it's all about politics unfortunately but uh, we hope and we know that uh, we're strong and we we pray for armenia and we love our country thank you any for talking to us and sharing so many wonderful things about your life and live on and the whole thing wish you all the best for the next uh, and you both are an amazing chess couple so <laughs> uh be like this always thank you